launch advanced design and start a new project. Skip the first page by clicking next and on the second page define your default settings for the project. Choose the workspace type by selecting the grid radio button. Select the bending rigid structure option. For materials select C2530 and click finish to close the project settings dialog box. Select Save As from the file menu. In the Save As dialog box, enter the project name Concrete Slab. Select Mesh from the Options menu. The global meshing parameters for the model are defined here. Select the Grid Mesh type. The Grid Meshing method is quicker and simpler than the Delaunay method. It is suitable for rectangular planar elements but does not handle more complex shapes well. Deselect the Include Loads in Meshing option. Then click OK. In the Pilot, right-click Structure and from the Context menu, select Generate an Entity, Structure, Planar. Choose the Planar Element Type Shell. For Material, Select C2530. In the thickness category, type 200mm for the first vertex value. In the mesh category, select Simplified for density. In the Simplified Definition field, type 15 for the X and Y local axes meshing units. Type in the coordinates of the corners to create the slab. Select Create a Linear Rigid Support from the Modeling Toolbar. Select the Restraint Type as Hinge. Draw three linear supports on three sides of the planar element. Now we will use the predefined View Toolbar to change the view. This toolbar is hidden at the moment, so right-click on one of the visible toolbars and select Predefined Views from the Context menu. Then click the minus one, minus one, one View button. In the pilot, select Loading, right-click and select from the context menu, Create several case families. A dialog box appears, where you can choose the load case families and the number of load cases for each one. Type 1 for dead loads and 1 for live loads families. Click Create. The load cases are now displayed in the pilot. In the pilot, select the G load case. Select the planar elements. Right-click and from the context menu, Choose the Load Selection command to automatically generate a planar load on selection. Type the FZ intensity minus 1.5 kilonewtons. The load is not shown clearly because of the scale, so we will update the load scale by selecting the Loads Auto Scale command from the Drawing Area context menu. In the pilot, select the 2Q load case and select the Create a Point Load command from the Modeling toolbar. Type 200 kilonewtons for FZ intensity. On the status bar, double click here to open the Snap Modes dialog box. Select the midpoint Snap Mode. Place the point load in the middle of the unsupported side of the planar element. Select the Create a Linear Load command from the Modeling toolbar. Type minus 100 kilonewtons for the FZ intensity. Draw the linear load on the unsupported side of the planar element. In the pilot, under Assumptions group, select Combinations, right-click and choose Properties from the context menu. Click Define. Then select Generate to create Eurocode combinations. Click OK to apply the load combinations. Click Save View on the modeling toolbar. The view is displayed in the Save View system from the pilot. Click the Analysis button in the pilot. Select Mesh and click OK. Now the finite element mesh has been generated. If we are satisfied with the mesh, we can start the finite element calculation. Select Calculate from the Analysis menu. Then click OK to start the calculation.
right click in the drawing area and from the context menu deselect display loads and display mesh. Select display ISO lines. Create the post processing button to display the displacement results for load case 1G. Click save view on the modeling toolbar. From the main menu select generate section cut. Click two opposite corners of the planar element to draw a section cut line. Select the section cut. Then click on the Result Curves button on the Analysis FE Results toolbar to open the Results Curves dialog box. Click on Results Option button. Click Case Combinations. And in the Analyses and Combinations window, Forces tab, make sure only the first two combinations are selected. Click OK to apply and exit. Click Save Curve to save an image of the selected curve, that is, the one with the blue outline. Double click a curve to open a window where you can view detailed results and configure their display. Select Result Settings again. Click Case Combinations. And in the Analyses and Combinations dialog box, select only 2Q Load Case in the Stresses tab and then OK. Select the Result Types Stresses. Select Planar Element and SXX Top and click OK. Click the Display the Descriptive Model button to hide the descriptive model and save the view. The post-processing views are stored in the pilot under the post-processing system. You can save the list of post-processing views as shown. Right-click the post-processing system from the pilot and select Export Tree. The Save As dialog box opens. Type a name for the XML file containing the post-processing data. Now we will create a report. Select Assumptions Report from the Documents menu. We now have a report containing some descriptive information about the model. The entries in the left-hand window are the report contents. The right-hand window contains everything that can be added into the report. First we will remove the cover sheet and table of contents from the report, and also the system description and the coordinate system description tables. Now select the first chapter. Click Table Properties and in the pop-up window select the Insert a Page Break option. Select the Geometrical Data chapter then select the Views tab and select the Model View. Click to add it to the report's contents under the selected chapter. Select the Loading Data chapter then select the Post Processing tab and select the Post Processing view from the list. Click to add it to the report contents under the selected chapter. You can save the calculation report configuration as a template. Click the Save button placed in the Report Template field. In the Save As dialog box, name the template, for example, Report 1, Save. Click Generate to create the report. When the generation process is completed, the viewer application starts and opens the report automatically. Now we will make some modifications to the model then run the analysis again and update the results. Select the planar element. In the properties window, change the element's thickness from 200mm to 300mm. Then, in the simplified definition field of the meshing properties, input 13 for the mesh element's density along the X and Y axes. Hold down the control key and select the three supports from the pilot. Change the restraint type to fixed. Right click on a toolbar and select the rendering toolbar. Then select axes so that the element thickness is not represented. So we have a clearer view of how the structure elements are connected. Then select the top view from the zoom and views toolbar. Click the display the work plane icon on the work plane toolbar. Select create a line from the modeling toolbar. Type in the coordinates of the corners of a square to be cut in the slab. Since the work plane is active the point Z coordinate is fixed by the work plane and only the X and Y coordinates need to be defined. To finish and close the square you need to place a fifth point in the same location as the first point and press enter. Then select the line from the pilot and click the create openings button on the CAD modifications toolbar. Select create the analysis model from the analyze menu. Select the Create a New Analysis Model option and then Mesh.
you can check that there are now 13 finite elements along each side. Notice that the saved views now have a red circle next to them. A red button indicates something has changed since the view was created, which means the pictures need to be updated. Now select Calculate from the Analyze menu and click OK. Now that the calculation has been done, it is possible to update the views with the new results. Double click on the saved views to update them. From the Documents menu, select Create a new document. Click Load, then open the previously saved template and click Generate. 